All right, hey Aquarius. So we're doing an energy check-in for your alignment and messages from this person on your heart space. Okay, so you guys, I didn't put a turnaround time on this one just because um, we're all dealing with distance at different rates and uh, time continuums or whatever. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to do a turnaround time. I'm also not focusing on signs either. Um, you're going to know that this is your read uh, by the intro energy. So I'm going to start with your energy of vibration and alignment. And then I'm going to pull this person to see how you guys compare. And then I'm going to pull to see how you feel about the connection currently. So if that does not resonate, check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. And um, let's just give it another shuffle. All right. Starting with your energy, um, you guys, the roles could be reversed, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we have the Three of Wands showing up in reverse. Um, what else? You got the Full card and the Justice card. Gosh, I can't help but feel like it's it's like you're doing so much work. You're purging. You're growing. You're doing some deep introspection. You're reflecting on you, the person, the connection. All right, but why is it? It's not coming in. It's not coming in, right? It's, I can't help but feel, gosh, I hope I don't start, I get emotional sometimes, you guys, and I just feel like for whoever is here, it's like, what more do I have to do to have this new beginning? Um, you know, um, this, this is a very spiritual card for me. It's like, I, I've spent the time alone. I've, I've gone through my head. I've, I've purged. I've healed. I've done the dark night of the soul. I've done shadow work. Now, why isn't this coming to me? That's just what I see kind of how you're at currently. Okay. You do desire that new beginning, but I kind of feel as a side note too, you guys got to know that justice card. All right. That's a good karmic reward for you. That's a bonus coming from the universe. And I know that you guys can feel it, even though it's not here yet, you know, you sense it. Otherwise, what's the point, right? What was the point of meeting this person? What was the point of, of uh, doing all this? Um, sometimes isn't it easier just to be freaking human? Um, I, I, I don't know why I'm saying that, but I mean, it, it's a lot, you know, um, to discover bits and pieces about us that we were that we that just aren't here anymore, um, but sometimes it just seems easier to just kind of revert back. And not everybody is on a, a, a soul-driven path, and that's not what my aim is, you know, for the collective. Um, but even as a human, it's like sometimes it's easier to not be the the bigger person. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and, and a lot of people too, why do I have to be the one to heal? Why do I have to be the one to do this? It's the soul contract that you, you designed for yourself. All right. I'm going to pull this person's energy and vibration. They're, they're not happy. They're not. Okay. Um, we have the star card coming through the Empress and we have the nine of swords. Okay. I, I, it's almost like what I'm seeing right here is this person is starting to have some revelations about this connection. Okay. Um, you know, the Empress card, she does represent a divine feminine aspect. It's also a soulmate card. Okay. Um, but it, it's almost like you guys are marrying each other. So since you guys have disconnected, I feel like, um, there has been a lack of, of, uh, emotional stability in both you and this person's energy. Even if there has been no contact, this person might make it seem on the outside that they're very, very happy, but internally, I don't see that. I don't sense it and I'm not feeling it. Okay. Internally, I feel like this is, this is what's dry. It's like, this is, is it's hidden right behind the face of this. Okay. And if they, if it wasn't hidden, it wouldn't even have come out. All right. I feel like this person is starting to learn and discover, you know, the amount of, of person you are that, um, they potentially are starting to miss now. Um, the, the star card is a humanitarian. It's an inspiration card. And I cannot help but feel like I'm picking up their emotions and feelings towards you rather than who they are as a person. Okay. Um, really, I, it's like this right here for some reason, I really feel like this person's ego is it's deducting from the major arcana that comes through here. Major, major, major. I cannot help but feel like this one is superseding these. Um, and it's because of their ego. They know that this is sitting inside of them, but their ego is, is far more reflective to me right now because of how, how everything has kind of transpired. What's not here, what's missing. I feel like it's you. All right. So how do you feel about the connection? It's stuck. It ain't going anywhere. Where is it at, Becky? Why do you keep on putting these reads out? Nothing's happening. Nothing's transforming. Nothing's changing. Stop telling yourself that. Stop. Stop. Okay. It, the six of swords, you feel like it's stuck. It, it might not even go anywhere. 
there's the divine masculine and divine feminine showing up. And we have the queen of cups coming through in reverse. That's somebody who is codependent. That is somebody who, um, they, they lack emotional, uh, um, balance. They lack emotional, um, stability. They, they lack emotional availability, right? I feel like you guys definitely know that this is a very important connection. You both know that it's a very important connection. All right. But I feel like you're really, you're really just in your head about how am I going to be able to manifest this connection because I've been doing it all the work and, and, and it's just not here. This person's not changing. They're not reaching out. They're not communicating. They're, they're not, that new beginning is not here. Okay. And that's just kind of what I see. You're trying and trying and trying, but I got to tell you guys, gosh, stop, stop trying, stop trying so hard. Stop. And I'm not saying that you're even doing anything, you know, energetic, physically, it's your, your, I feel like you're depleting yourself energetically. You're depleting yourself emotionally. You're depleting your, yourself. So just stop, you know, and if you guys are so bent on this being such a deep soul connection, then take a break from it and, and go get laid with somebody else. that's not a soul connection. I don't know. Sorry. That might've been bad advice, but I'm telling you, you guys need to stop thinking about it so much because I feel like that's the only thing that's probably stunting this entire growth, the entire movement forward. Okay. Um, and, and I, I make jokes, you know, when I get emotional and, and that's something inside of me that I guess maybe I need to heal. Maybe I don't, but I'm telling you guys, you guys are putting so much, you're trying so hard to please the universe and please God and please your ancestors and spirit guides. You're trying so hard to still please everybody else to do the right thing, to get, to get what you're, what, the, what you're shooting for, which is the stars, right? But it's for not right now because I feel like you're 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 overburdening yourself with the amount of of um, healing and, and uh, transformation that you're that you're that's trying to be implemented into your life. Okay, and I'm getting a little bit choked up here because it's like stop trying so hard. You know, go have fun, man. Be a human. Um, you're supposed to be a human living. You know, y your soul is is here as a human to live a human existence. And it doesn't have to be all spiritual all the freaking time, you know, and um, take a break from it. It doesn't have to be all love and light. It doesn't have to be all butterflies. It's okay to go back a couple of steps. And then you are, you're already so advanced on your path that you already know how to get ahead. You know how to cut cords. You know how to, to, um, energetically cleanse yourself. You know how to do, you, you guys already know whoever is here, you know who I'm talking to. You already know. Okay. Um, let's just see how this person is feeling about the connection currently. We have the three of cups coming through. They don't know what to think. If it's been a while since you guys have connected, they're probably thinking that you're with somebody else at this point. You know, um, the hermit card, deep, deep introspection, man. Gosh, did I just leave the, the best thing in my life? Did I let go of the best thing that could have ever happened? All right. Did I let go of, of, of my tentative happiness that, that, that should have, could have, would have came? Uh, you guys are mirroring each other. And I feel like that's why it's not moving forward. Um, and, and I'm sorry, but if you're here, I can't help but, but feel like maybe, you know, you, you were the one that became awakened to this connection and, and I'm sorry to put so much responsibility on you, but it is your, your, it's your, you, I feel like you, you grow first, you learn first. Okay. But I feel like you're putting so much energy to that, that you're forgetting to have that human experience. Um, right. You don't know if God in the universe has somebody else they need, they need you to meet. All right. Before coming back into connection with this person and what, what is meant for you. It's going to come to you. Okay. Um, how is this person feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Whoa, whoa is me. They don't like it. The, they don't like it. They want to, they want to grow. Look, <laughs> there's my, my deep soul card. I mean, this person is starting to have revelations and they're starting to see how important you are to them. All right. I can't help but feel like they do have a strong desire to work on it because um, now that you're not here, and no matter how long it's been, you're still not here. Uh, it's like they're still looking for that. Even if they're making other connections, they're still looking for the connection. All right. The one that got away. All right. So um, what is the reasons for delayed union? What is the reasons for delayed union? Oh, my God. All right. Look at that. Stringing along. Did they use me? Did they play me? Did they just take advantage and get what they wanted and left? Why would they do that? You're still asking yourself questions. You, you can't you just stop doing that. Okay. Stop doing that. Um, the five of cups, the five of, of wands. This right here is stringing along player. It's emotional. There's there's too much emotional um, um, negative energy that's still connected to this. And I kind of feel like that king of swords is, is saying that you already know. You know exactly why there's a delay in this union. You already know. I don't have to tell you. You already know. Okay. 
I, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep moving forward. So let's just see if this is going to change soon. Is this going to change soon? Look at that liberation, liberation from that ego, man. All right. The tower card is catalyst for positive growth and change. Focus on yourself. Don't give so much power to this person. All right. Hold space for them, but you can hold space for them at a distance. Okay. You're being told to be patient. Um, especially when it comes to yourself. Okay. You guys are powerful. You're magical. If you, if you can hold it in your, your mind's eye, you have the ability to manifest it. And now you're being told to get out of your head. And yes, absolutely. I do see a change in this because that right there is the liberation card. Okay. So I'm going to pull specifically what you need to release, what you need to release in order to see this grow. All right. Look at the, the five of wands. You got the Hierophant, the will of fortune and the six of coins. All right. <laughs> you guys, I, honestly, I'm going to say this. You got to know that it's coming back through. There's a full cycle coming back through, but you need to be fair for yourself. Okay. You, you need to give some, some of this energy that you've been given this situation and this connection back to yourself. All right. Um, and I, I don't even know how to say it because there's really like with this right here, there's nothing that you really need to release. Okay. But the five of wands, is that what came out? Yeah. The five of wands, you didn't get played. You weren't, you weren't stooped. The, the imbalance is temporary. You guys have enough faith to know that this is going to change for you. You already know. I don't have to tell you. I'm just going to get some messages from this person. Messages. Look at that. Oh, I've been spying. I've been watching you. I know there's been a minute since we've been able to, to communicate, to, to connect, but I've been watching you. All right. I don't like the delayed action on this as much as, as you and the next person, but I, I do see you. All right. I do feel you. Okay. We have the queen of wands. Look at that. I do see you. I do feel you. I see what you're putting out there. I see the power that you have inside of you. And I'm just waiting to become that balance for you. Okay. This person might have some issues where, where they're, they just think that they're not good enough. They don't have their shit together. They see you all empowered. Okay. I want to become that balance. No, you already are. Stop thinking about it, my friend. Not you, but you know, the one that's connecting to you. Sorry. I talk to myself a lot. You guys initials for here. This read, we have A, P, O, I, and a W, P. What is up with the P's? All right, we got an L. I'm leaving it there, Aquarius. Sending you guys so much love. Take care.